All right, let's talk about mathematical expectations. We're going to play games, and uh, before we play, we want to calculate whether the game is something you want to play or not. So let's quickly create a game. Let's roll a dice. Dice has one, two, three, four, five, six options. And the rule is like this. If you get one, two, three, I will give you eighty dollars. And if you get four, five, you are losing your bet money, which is, uh, I mean, bet. You are losing your bet money, and let's talk about bet money. Uh, this game is hundred dollars, so you bet hundred dollars first to play this game, and when when you get four or five, you are getting nothing, which means you are losing the money you bet. And let's talk about option number six, and if you get six. I am willing to give you $350. How about that? That's a lot of money, right? Before we calculate the mathematical expectations, I, you need to find out whether this game is fair or not. Now, let's just focus on that. Is this game fair or not? This is the formula. Formula means you need to add as many probabilities as possible. Write down the probability and open bracket and write down the money you will win and subtract that from the money you will lose, which is the bet money, by the way. The money you will lose is your bet money. So let's clear this up. Let's do Let's do mathematical expectation about this game. So, options, probabilities. Now we are going to talk about probabilities and let's talk about the first one. The first one is, if you get one, two, three, you will get $80. So let's write this down in mathematical expectation form. If you get one, two, three, if you get one, two, three, means you got three options, three options. One, two, three means three options. Out of six options. In a dice, you have six options. I open the bracket, and I'm going to write down the money I will, uh, I will win, which is, remember, $80. So let's write that down. 80 minus the money you will lose, which is your bet money. This will never change. Your bet money is 100. That's always be 100. So the money you will lose is 100. And plus, let's talk about the other probabilities. And the other probability we have is for 5. When you get 5, 5, you are getting nothing. Let's write this down in a mathematical expectation form. For 5, for 5, two options. Two options divided by six. Open the bracket. How much money I will get back? Win money is nothing. Minus lost money. The money you bet is 100. So keep that. Plus, now let's talk about the last option in this game. If you get six, you will get $350. If you get six, if you get six, some students do get do this. If you get six divided by six, please remember that getting six is just one option out of six options. So that's supposed to be one divided by six. And open the bracket. Let's write down the money we will win, which is 350, but let's not write it down.
because I want to find out if this game is fair. The only money I will be receiving, the only money from the game, <coughs> the only money I will be receiving is $350. So, let's, let's call that X. Why? Because I want to find out if this game is fair or not. That's the most important you need to do about mathematical expectations. Find out what makes this game fair. What do I mean by fair is, let's give a quick example. Let's throw a coin up, and let's say uh, if it's tail, you'll give me $10. If it's head, I'll give you $5. This game is not fair. The only way to make this game fair is, if it's tail, you'll get $10. If it's head, I'll get $10. That's it. That's going to make this game fair. That's the fair uh, adjustment we know about that game. But now this game, you got six options, and you will get some money back with option now number one, two, three, and you are not getting any money back with two. I'm sorry, with four and five. So, what makes this game fair? Let's calculate that. Let's make that. Although the game says you will get three hundred fifty dollars, let's call that x minus from the formula, right, from the formula, the money you lost, which is your best bet money, so let's go and write that down as well, minus 100, close the brackets, and I don't have more spot on the right, all I can say is that everything supposed to be equal to zero to call this game fair. Now, let's calculate that. 80 minus 100 is minus 20. And over here, 0 minus 100 is still 0. I mean, one minus 100, so I'm just going to get rid of the 0 here. All right. And over there, I'm going to multiply the 1 with this and with that. And I'm going to make sure everything is equal to 0. So now, let's write this down. Everything is divided by 666 because the probability, um, the number of options you have is 6. So that means you're going to divide long division, everything by 6. So now, let's do 3 times minus 20, which is minus 60 plus no before I do plus let's do 2 times minus 100 so that means minus 200 and 1 time x anything multiplied by, by, by 1 will give you the same number in this case it will give you the same letter x and 1 time minus 100 is also minus 100 and this is a long division so I want to leave X alone there is a division this needs to go to the other side and because it's division it will become multiplication here multiply 0 multiply by 6 it will be 0 so this time I'm gonna get right off the division with my next step and now all I want to do is put the apples together and oranges together which ones are apples here? Regular number, regular number, and regular number. Those are apples. So put them together. Minus 60, minus 200, minus 100 will give you minus 360. And so this is orange. Let's use a different color. This is orange. I didn't do anything about that. So let's write down plus x equals I just got right of the division that right so I don't have to write that down still equals to 0 so I want to leave x alone minus 360 will go to the other side as plus or no sign 
360. So I find out X is 360. So I know that. What I just find out? I find out this. To call this game fair, the house needs to give me $360. Anything less than $360 makes this game unfair. Um, unfair means you got two options. Unfair means it's either the player's advantage or player's disadvantage. Since the uh, the rules I look at here, the game gives me three hundred fifty dollars, which is ten dollars less. So this is a disadvantage game for me. I don't want to play this game, but I would love to play a game that would give me four hundred dollars. So if I get option number six, I will get four hundred dollars. Option number four and five, I will lose my money. Option one, two, three, I will get $80 back out of $100 I spend. That's a game I want to play. Seems like each time, each time I play this game, I will win something. I'm not going to win 400 for sure, uh, but I will win something. So I want to play that game. Once again, so this is the game. But you need to calculate the mathematical expectations to find out what makes this game fair.